Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see a groovy component with the Mule USB. Groovy is a very useful component when you want to, you know, use some script or you have to call, you know, have to call some external code. So you can make use of the groovy. The other, you know, other scenario where if you want to make, you know, uh, if you want to make or if you want to stop the execution of your flow for some period of time like 30 to 40 seconds. So you can make use of Groovy component. So in this demo, we will going to cover like how to make use of Groovy script, how to call the external script, how to access the flow variable in your Groovy component. Okay. So we will going to cover uh, three, four scenarios in this walkthrough. So let me start with uh, creating a new application. I will say file new 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 project. I will say Groovy component app. For runtime, I will keep it 3.8 only. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can select anything depending on your requirement. Other thing I will not going to touch. I will say next, next, and finally I will say finish. And it will create an application for you. First thing, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into the canvas okay. you can see various attribute the first attribute we have to define a connector configuration under general setting for that click on this add button okay keep all setting as a default I press ok now i will say path groovy allow method i will say post okay this is the minimum configuration you have to do other thing i will going to call a groovy component So under Groovy component, there are various options. You can see script text, you can script file, you can see script reference. Under advanced, we will make use of like how to make use of property. Okay, first we will start with a small thing. I will say a equals to 10, b equals to 20. Okay, and let sum equals to a plus b. So what I'm doing here, I'm assigning okay. So I have two value a and b and just I am I am adding those value and returning back. That's it. So let me uh, enable the application so we can start testing it. Okay. That's my application is deploying. So application has been deployed. We will make use of Postman test the application i will uh, okay this value is not that useful just uh, i will use this url i will send see you got uh, this result okay this why this you got because groovy component has written the object so before sending back to client we have to convert it into a string or json format but in here we will just going to convert into the string format i will save it Okay, let me send it again. See, we got a real 30. Don't see there, just see it here because we have hard coded two value 10 and 20. If I will say 30. Okay, our application is deployed. It should be 50 this time. Okay, so now what we will do? See, it's not good practice to keep the value hard coded. So now I have to read the value from this JSON message. Fine. There are various ways we are going to discuss one by one. Fine. So first thing what I will do, I will go to advance. Under advance, I will define key. I will say num1 and I will define mel. I will say a. So what I am doing, I am assigning the value a to num1. Value AA we are getting from this JSON message. Next, I will add one more property to read B. Num2, I will say hash JSON B. Okay. okay. I have defined two property. Here, what I will do, 
I simply say num1 plus num2. Save it. So you will see it will get filled. It was saying script, script file not set. This is some, I don't know what is the problem, but there is a solution for that. What you have to do, see, if you see the, your both property key is before C data. You have to cut this two property and paste it after C data. Now save it. Now it will deploy the application for you. Okay, you can see your application has been deployed. So now it will, you know, like add these two value. A and B. Let me send. So you can see it. It haven't added the value. It can't. You know, it considered both as a string and like it adding one after another. We don't want like that. So for that, what we have to do? We have to again go back to the groovy property. And, uh, sorry, groovy components. So on the groovy components, you have to you know convert that num1 and num2 into integers. So for that, I will do uh, integer. Integer dot pass in I will copy same syntax paste after num2 okay I will save it let me go to console okay you can start it now you can see it has added both value so let me make it simple I will say 30 I will say 20 I will say 30 that's it I will say send. Now it will give me 15. Now what I will do, I will just copy this code and I will try to execute from external file. I will say control X, notepad, I will open notepad, I will save it, control X. I will say groovy component and desktop, I will save it, close it. Now instead of script text, what you have to do, you have to go to script file you just select the script file where your script file is located. Yeah, this is my groovy .txt. I will say save it. So let me check if application is deployed. Okay, it is deploying the application. Now our application has been deployed. Now instead of script text, we are using script file. So send. Okay, we got the same result back. Okay, I will say 50. So we got the same result back. Now the third way we are going to see a third way okay so what you have to do now i will remove both properties i don't want to define the property file i have to read from flow variable the number one and number two so what i will do i will drag and drop two variables two flow variables one is for num1 and one is for num2 for a and b i will say set i will say num1 I will say JSON A. Here I will say set variable num2 JSON B. That's it. But the problem is how you can invoke those two flow variable into the Groovy component. Let me. So how we can do that? So basically. We do like that num1. I will not say num1. I will use some other words. Okay, what I use there? I have to use some different. So I will say x equals to. I can say like flow bars dot. I will say num1. I will see let's see I am trying to access a flow variable but it will fail x plus y your deployment will get deployment will work but when I try to send let me see we got the result in this way but we don't want the result in this way okay So for that, how you can invoke the properties? So let me do one thing. I will show you. So this is a better way of invocation. You can see message. 
dot okay you can see message dot message dot property just a minute message dot you have to use invocation dot get property what is your property name it's num1 okay here you can say message dot invocation dot get property num here yeah, i can say x plus y let me see your application let me check if it is deployed it is deployed let me send it it was filled let me check what is the issue message dot okay this syntax is issue i have some code written there let me copy that some spelling mistake okay i have done one mistake it should be like uh, just a minute the method name should be get invocation property i'm sorry for that i will copy this again i will save it let check if it's deployed again Okay, now send. See, you got a result back, but you got a result. It is not expected. It's obvious our answer should be 80, but it was considering this as a string. So better you have to convert into integer. So what I can do? Okay, let me write integer dot pass in Let me save it. Okay, the application is started. Say it should be 80 now. Okay. Now what we will do? We will try and try to call same code from external file. We have already one file. Okay. Let me do that. Let me go there. Let me remove this code from here. Let me select skip file. I will say desktop groovy.com I will say save let's wait application has been installed or deployed sorry you get the same result now I want like these are one other things like okay you want to halt your execution for some time fine then you should return back your result so for that what I will do I will copy again that code. Let me copy the GrooveyCom code. Okay. Here, under GrooveyCom, I will use skip text. I will say slip for 30 seconds. So now I am not using this component. I am using the skip text. You can define that into file also, but I will define here. Okay. So what I am saying, slip for 30 seconds. Then return back the result. Then you know continue the flow. So let me save this. I want to check the application. I will send the message. You will not get the your result immediately. It will take 30 seconds to return back your result. So let's wait. Once 30 seconds is over, you will get a result back. So you get your result back. Okay. This is how you can use your groovy component. Okay. If you like my video, just subscribe. Thanks for watching video. Hope you have enjoyed.